This mess is a result of trying to shoot balloons popping. Let's see what I did and how I did it. All right, so here's the setup we have. And I have it in a nice dark area. Well, it will be dark whenever we turn off the lights. So simply a balloon we have hanging from my tripod there. You don't have to use a tripod. You can really use anything to hang the balloon from. Uh, the back of it, we have a, uh, I have a black backdrop. You can use, I've done this before, just using a, um, a, uh, like a cut up trash bag. That works just as well. Um, you need something to catch all the water in because it's going to make a mess. Plenty of towels for the splashage. I have my D750 here with a wired trigger. The lens doesn't really matter what you use. You can use, a matter of fact, I think, yeah, this is just one of my old kit lenses. So you, it doesn't have to be anything special. Now you're, the most important part is you're gonna need a flash. Here I'm using my SB700. You can hook up your flash to like a pocket wizard or a wireless trigger of some type, but I'm just using the uh, system built into it through Nikon to fire the flash using the onboard flash on my uh, D750. So what we're working with here is one tenth of a second shutter speed at f7.1. That's just to make sure everything's in focus and a low ISO, ISO 100. All right, so I'm gonna be set up right here with a nail right here. You can use a nail, a needle, really anything sharp, thumbtack, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be popping the balloon this way and in my right hand, I'm going to have my wired trigger to my camera to fire the camera and then the flash. All right, so here's a quick time lapse of shooting the balloons and I'll stop it on each of the photos. Here's the first one. It turned out pretty well, I think, for the first one. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, my, my hand, as I'm sticking it, with the nail ideally would be away from the balloon a little bit so you can see black all the way around it and then all you see into the balloon or into the water is the nail but it's not bad for the first shot go back to the time lapse for the second photo so there I'm setting up the second balloon and this might be the best shot of the bunch as you can see my hand is farther away from the balloon so you can see the nail actually going into it and what's really cool is like the explosion there on the right side of the balloon, the right side as we're looking at it. It's really cool how the balloon just wrapped all the way around the water and then is kind of exploding out the other side of it. So this is one of the better shots, I think. All right, back setting up the third balloon this time. This time it's like a bluish greenish one. So I'm setting it up. I had a few practice attempts and there's the shot blue, I guess. Again, my hand is farther in, similar to the first shot. Um, not quite as far, but a little bit farther in. Similar to the last one, you can see the blue balloon on the right side there, uh, where it wrapped around. Another shot, not too bad. All right, now we're back setting up for the third balloon. You can see I'm reviewing my last one there. So uh, you can see I'm putting a bucket there. I thought my focus might have been off, so I just put a bucket there, put it back into autofocus to um, to get the focus back to where it was tacked sharp again. And this is my fourth shot. Uh, not great. Uh, it was too late um, into the process. I hit the button a little bit too late. As you can see, my hand, if the balloon was still there, I'd be way into the balloon. And this is after the balloon had already collapsed and was falling to the ground. So uh, not my best one. Now the setup for the fifth and final balloon that I had prepared. And you can see there, again, similar to the fourth one. Again, just too late. My hand's farther off, which is good. My hand looks kind of awkward. Um, that's one thing you need to keep an eye out for when you're doing these is try to get it to where your hand looks good from the camera's angle because that even if it was a perfect uh, shape of a balloon with the water if I just poked it perfectly in time with my shutter release it wouldn't have been that great of a shot just because my hand it just it, it just is not not a good hand placement at all but uh, the water is not good either it's it is too far gone um, but my first three weren't bad, I didn't think, and I'm gonna bring these back up here for us. So the best three shots were definitely the first three that I took. I think the third best was the first one, just because my hand was in a little bit too far, the red balloon right here. The second best, I think, was the third photo that I took. My hand has much better hand placement. And the best one, I think, by far, is the second one, this orange balloon right here. Hands good. You can still see the form of the balloon all the way around it. You can see, I like being able to see the the shrapnel from the balloon as it's popping. All in all, it's a pretty good shot. Happy with it. 
Thanks for watching my video. I hope you got a little bit of something out of this. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or you can message me. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.